Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. Thanks so much for coming by. We have an awesome video for you guys today. But before we jump in, if you're interested in a new way to make money, all right, there is an incredible opportunity to make money right here on YouTube by creating a faceless YouTube channel. This is one of my accounts, one of my several accounts where I made over $130,000 in the past year. And in some months, I was able to make over $20,000 in a single month. This month, I made $37,000. So if you wanna learn how to do this, I set up a link below where you guys can learn how to do it. You don't need experience, you don't need a following. It's the best way to make money right now. So click the link below to get started. And now let's get started with the video. Okay, so this next one, this one, we are exposing the Uber CEO. <laughs> This is the Uber CEO on the left. This is California Governor Gavin Newsom on the right. Now, um, you might think, oh, hey, these are just two rich multimillionaires hanging out, having a good time. You know, what's the what's the big deal? Well, they have a hidden agenda. And that agenda is to move drivers to electric cars. So in California, Uber and Lyft drivers will have to switch to electric vehicles by 2030. This is this is a law. You want to read this? So California approves electric car mandate for Uber and Lyft. So basically by 2030, if you're an Uber or Lyft driver, you have to have an electric vehicle. And I requirement. it's a requirement, yeah, or else you'll get deactivated. Um, but the question is, who will pay for these cars? Yeah. yeah well, it's going to be the drivers. The drivers are going to have to, you know, lease these cars or, or buy these cars. And you might see from the, tedla, from the title, oh, Cal it's California doing it. Oh, it's not Uber and Lyft. But at the same time, when you see the Uber CEO, hanging out with Gav Governor Gavin Newsom, in my opinion, I think, and then if you go to Uber's website, Uber uh, electric vehicles, let's see, vehicles 2030, they, they put it on their website that they're like all happy about making this switch. They're, um, and they're like, they're like, <laughs> They're doing it to like the road to zero emissions, um, their commitment to becoming zero emissions. So I believe that there's kind of a hidden agenda behind all this where I think there's a lot of money involved and Ubers. I don't know. I don't want to, you know, throw anything out there, but I feel like there's a lot of stuff going behind closed doors. Um, they got $800 million to support drivers move to EVs. California shows ambitious government policy and real investment from from delivers. Well, I cannot read today. What are they doing with this $800 million? I think that's the thing where they like give drivers like a dollar per ride. Like remember there was like you get an extra dollar per ride up to like 400 bucks or something per year. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's like again like these these cars are not even built for doing rideshare in the first place so it's like they're forcing drivers to switch electric whereas like tesla's even come out and said like our cars are not meant for ride sharing like yeah at the beginning you if you drove for uber and lyft you were you were not allowed to use the supercharger stations you were it they said these charging stations are not for rideshare drivers. They were like, these supercharger stations are for Tesla owners who do. This is not a commercial car. Like, and then recently a guy bought an electric car to do Uber, and it broke down once it because he drove a hundred thousand miles in the car, and the the battery broke. And Tesla goes, all right, well you gotta pay fourteen grand for a new battery. Because he was like, and then the guy was like, here, I'll just pull it up. Uber 100,000 Tesla. It was this guy right here. What went wrong? Uber's 120,000 mile Tesla experiment. 
his car he broke down. Else, but it- My car note on it because I was like immediately just infuriated by that. Yeah. I went into like just trade it in and be like, hey, you know what? But my car note on it is still over 40 G's. Yeah, and he still owed $40,000 on the car and it broke. <laughs> you can walk Unfortunately, in. Unfortunately, yeah, you bought it right when. Just before. Just before all these different. It drops. Its performance will drop. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, that for me, I mean, I didn't think it was going to drop that rapidly. Right. Right. I knew it was going to drop a bit, but I didn't think it was going to be that rapid. Now, so they did say that to me. And then, how many miles did you have on it when you started noticing these rapid It was over 100,000. It was okay. over 100,000. You know, I know that by the time it went in, it was like 100 and it was almost 120. And you were supercharging twice a day. Twice a day. Twice a and day, six days a week. And then I was still going to charge our home. I was mm-hmm. still going to charge our home. I started off charging our home with the regular Tesla car charger, right? Yeah. You know, and then when I go out, I supercharge, you know, twice. Now, but the, the funny thing is, the morning I went to charge it, I charged and it still gave me 170. Then I go back for the second charge and I charge it and it's giving me 35 miles. It wouldn't go past that, you know. So I'm like wondering what's happening. It's not like, you know, like if it was a gasoline car, you would have all the, you would see the gradual decline. Mm-hmm. Maybe it would pop, 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 and then it would stop. This was still smoothless. So I didn't see no reason why I could charge 170 in the morning. And then in the evening, I get there in the evening to charge. Yeah. And I'm only getting 35. So, so it only was going up to 35 miles. Yeah, I forget. It's, this is a long video. I watched it before. But yeah, he ended up going into Tesla to get it re- to try to get it repaired. And they were like, you're driving too much on the car. Oh, but you know... um. Jordan drives 12 hours a day with a Tesla. Yeah. I wonder how his car is holding up. Who knows? I'd be a good person to interview. You can do that. (laughs) I'm not doing that. (laughs) No, thanks. 